I enjoy books. However, there comes a moment where I see a book as great as it is, as taking up space. Do I actually use them? Or are they just here for looks? And where will they all go when I'm gone? Books seem to encompass all the senses. Sight, sound, smell, touch. You can even taste the wood from where the pages came from, just grazing the back of your tongue. However, as much as I love to write on actual pages, I've always found myself to not write as well or as completely as when I write using a keyboard. And this is where the next evolution of the Remarkable 2 device comes in, the device that I have been using for some time now in an effort to condense the amount of journals I buy, and that is the keyboard for the Remarkable 2. Is the addition of a keyboard on something that's supposed to be a notebook replacement actually worth it? At a price of $1.99, ultimately, it comes down to true enjoyment of use, functionality, and is it valuable? This is not something I'm going to try to convince you to buy. This is just my overall experience with this edition. So let's get this done in chapters, eh? I'm going to try to make this a quick, brief review. Where does it feel like I'm out of focus? The original pre-order price for the Remarkable 2 when I purchased it back in 2020 was $3.99. The Marker Plus was $50. The Book Folio Leather Brown Case was $80. The Sum Without the Taxes was $5.29. Taxes were $35. And five cents, which made the entire price five sixty four oh five. Now, in twenty twenty three November, the Remarkable Two is two ninety nine. The Marker Plus is one twenty nine. The Book Folio is one sixty nine, making the total five ninety seven. At the time of purchasing, it was a cool device, and it was meant to be a notebook replacement. And actually, it was originally supposed to be my husband's device. But we found ourselves to both not be using it. And it was one of those things that was on the shelf as a piece that we were going to use should the moment arise, uh, should we find ourselves in the mindset to begin using it. Until quite recently, maybe a few months ago, I suddenly got this sudden urge to stop buying journals. If you've seen videos in the past of mine, I talk about this very issue where I buy a notebook, write in it halfway, and then abandon it for another notebook, only to do the same thing in a couple of weeks. So the Remarkable 2 suddenly came into my life. Now, it's not cheap, especially for a device that claims to be a paper replacement, but then is asking you to buy all of these additions pens leather cases nibs different types of pens and now a keyboard i'm not here to debate the ethics of it or if it's objectively worth it for you i'm just merely here to talk about it in my own experience what value it has brought to my life and why i continue to use it Now this is not to talk about the experience of the Remarkable device, I have done that in other videos which I will link. This is to talk about my experience with the keyboard and if I think it's something that holds value for me and something that I think is worth it to add on to a device that you might already have or might be thinking about buying. Since purchasing this keyboard, I've exclusively used it. It is extremely easy and fun to use. And while the keyboard is a bit smaller, it makes sense and I've adapted quickly to it. It is light, attaches easily to the folio case, and opens intuitively. The portability hasn't changed, it folds away just the same like a book. And it actually has two points of contact. One where it sits up like this, kind of like an actual computer. And you can make it a little bit more flat, and I'm assuming in a way to type and maybe write notes or anything you might want to add with the pen. It does work in the lap in a seated or cross-legged position if you want to use it on the couch or on the go, but just be wary that in this case it is a bit top-heavy. 
Now the keyboard added a slight bit of thickness to the overall design, but nothing that is that noticeable. The best page to use the keyboard on is blank. I've tried lined and the smaller lined, and it doesn't annoy me personally, but the type doesn't actually line up with the lines of the page. There is no autocorrect, uh, and the size adjustment is weird. It works, however, if you adjust the size, then press enter to continue, it changes back to the smaller size. I get that it believes you're starting a new line, but I feel like it should just hold whatever uh, size that you had it on last until you make that adjustment again. The margins are also really large. The text is perfectly centered, and that kind of feels like a lot of typing starts to create these really long pages, which can be a little annoying and something to sort of adapt to. And I think that's it for my experience with the keyboard. The most important part, is this the most important part? Most important part, most important part, most important part. I have been sick, my voice a little. There is no illuminated screen. There are no apps, no real-time support, no expandable storage to worry about, no colors, no camera, and that is exactly what I wanted. This device, now complete with the keyboard, is what I imagine a typewriter would be similar to had it been invented today. I've used an iPad, I've used a tablet, a Chromebook, and my computer when it comes to writing, and within a half an hour, I always find myself distracted by the internet, fatigued by the illuminated white page staring back at me, and overall bored when the allure of the entire rest of the universe was one click away. My favorite part about this device is that I can write in my most productive way, which is typing, without distraction. And that, to me, is what I find most valuable. So I'm not here to tell you to buy this keyboard or to buy this tablet or to completely switch over from notebooks to an e-ink tablet. That's not what I'm here to do at all. I'm just here to share my love of all things writing. And this Remarkable 2 tablet falls right into that. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. <coughs> Thanks for tuning in, and I'll be seeing you.